Just get the hell out of here before I change my mind and finish you off. Come on, let's... Wait, wait. I have something to say and you both need to hear it. Why? It's just more lies. I don't want to hear it. I told you, I'm done lying. All right, please, just listen. I gotta get this off my chest. Truth is, you're not Stacy. Hi, Nila, it's me, Shane. Hi. I just got back from Texas, and I was wondering, did you get anywhere with Jack? <sighs> Jack, what happened? Ah, uh, thank you, John, I'm gonna be fine, all right? Yeah, I know, but you know what the doc said, right? No stress. How exactly am I supposed to do that, huh? Knowing that Todd killed Victor and I can't even tell my own daughter? Tell me what? I don't know you that well, but... It seems like something's bothering you. I swear to God, I didn't know that generator was there. I didn't mean for her to die. But she did. Because of me. What's going on? Something happened with Neela? Shane, I have to go. Wait! Did you get Jack to confess? Neela, please, I gotta know. My dad's on his way back from Texas, and I want to tell him that this is finally over. That we can make Jack Manning pay for killing my mom. Cutter, what are you talking about? It's just more lies. I know that doctor operated on you. He, he operated on Stacy Marasco, okay? But this isn't Stacy. There's no marks. There's no scars, no stitches. That's why he wouldn't operate on you. There's nothing to reverse. This is the way you were born. What are you saying? The woman standing right here is Gigi Marasco. Nothing, Mika. It's, it's oh, 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 so no. now it's a secret? No. Wait, I don't, there's nothing wrong with the baby. Oh, no, no, honey. No, it's like I told you on the phone. It was just a few cramps. I'm fine now. Okay, so what's the big secret? I think your mom was just talking about uh, Christmas presents. Oh, I'm sorry. And here I was Christmas shopping all afternoon. I got you something really nice. Yeah? I even got Todd something. Why would you get something for him? What happened? I thought you were just gonna sit around my office and spend all my money on takeout food. We did. I, I just wanted to wash my face. Oh. <laughs> God, lipstick on your face. <laughs> That's great. I can't talk right now. Okay, it's better if we talk in person anyway. Can you meet me at Angel Square? No, I can't. Why not? Neil, this is really important to me. Please meet me. Shane, I... Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. No, it's all good. Isn't that right, Jack? I have to go. Uh, thank you very much for lunch. It was really great. You're leaving. I uh, Scrooge has got to get back to work. So. Merry Christmas. Hey, why are you leaving? Is it because of what I told you? Hey, Shane, you want to help me put up the star on the tree? Make sure it's ready for when your dad gets home? That's okay. I gotta go meet Neela. I'm hoping she finally got Jack to confess. That'd be like the best Christmas present ever. You know, for my dad. I know how happy that would make him. But you know, Shane, there's no guarantee that Neela will be able to get Jack to talk. And even if she does, 
If she likes him, she might want to keep his confidence. I know it was pretty serious what I did to Shane's mom, but I was just hoping you'd understand, you know? That you'd believe me when I said it was an accident. I didn't mean for her to die, Neela. I know. I believe you. So why are you so freaked out? I mean, I don't blame you, but you said you could handle it. You said that I could trust you. You're Gigi. Just shut up, okay? No more games. That's it. I told you, this isn't a game. I'm not lying, all right? I'm just trying to set things right. For the past couple months, you've been trying to figure out who you are, where you came from. Now, I've been standing your way, but I can't lie to you anymore. All you do is lie, okay? You're just looking to, to figure out a way to cash in on that face, Gigi's face, okay? Now, I'm not saying that she's innocent, but you're the scum of the earth. I don't understand. Why are you doing this? Because I care about you, Gigi. <laughs> Who's the color of that? Did you ever call her that? Rex, I understand how you feel. Cutter tried to con you. He wanted to pass me off as Gigi, but I didn't let him. We were leaving town. He doesn't deserve to get arrested. Oh, Stacy, I understand that you've spent months with this guy. I get that you care about him, okay? But he's not just a con man. He's a murderer. No. Oh, what? <laughs> he's wanted what? in Kentucky for murder. He framed his own sister no. for the crime. Aubrey, don't look so disappointed. I bought you a Christmas present. How are things with Rex? He's still in Texas. What? It's Christmas Eve. He got bumped from his flight. I don't know when he's gonna be home. Has he called you? No. He's having second thoughts about everything with us. I just know it. No, that can't be true. You said he wanted to spend Christmas with you and he kissed you. He shouldn't have. And I shouldn't have let him. Oh, it was too much. Too soon. I blew it, Rama. He's not ready to say goodbye to Gigi yet. If you don't believe me, just ask his sister. She'll tell you that her brother is a lying, thieving, murdering bastard. Okay, if not, uh... If you can forget all of that, uh, Stacy is actually Gigi crap, you're trying to get me to call off the cops, it's not gonna work. I saw her body. I have to go. Why? Because it's, it's Christmas Eve and my brother's expecting me. So it's not what I said? No, of course not. Are you sure? Because I know it's bad. I killed Shane's mom. So if you don't want to be my friend, I completely... No, it's not that. I want to be your friend. Very much. So I can trust you? Because you have no idea how good it feels to be able to talk to someone. I have to go. Why shouldn't I get Todd a present? He got me one. He got you one, too. He really shouldn't have. Well, I thought it was kind of nice of him. And then why shouldn't I get him one? I mean, he is my father. No, he's not. Don't you ever say that. Victor is your father. Todd is not your father. Hey. I think there might be one or two things you didn't order off the takeout menu. You said we could get whatever we wanted. Oh, I'm not complaining. I'm excited about this. I think it's got raisins in it. What? What happened? Neela left. Well, I can tell that, but what happened before she left? She had this look on her face like she'd had bad papa dump. I don't know what you're talking about. It's like a flat bread. Jack, you know, there's nothing that you can't tell me. There's nothing to tell. Anyway, I don't need you. I've got Neela. Why would you say to Neela? Neil, thanks for meeting me. Were you able to get anything out of Jack? We got a suspect in custody. Yeah. He's wanted in Kentucky on a murder rap. Hmm. Murder. Well, so much for being completely honest with each other about everything. You conveniently left out the part about committing murder. And... You pinned the crime on your sister? Uh, How could you do that? And what was this? You said you cared about me. That was just all another lie? It's another score. He was trying to pass you off as Gigi one last time. It's not, I'm not lying. You are Gigi. I swear on my life. Yeah, which isn't worth much. I'm sorry, Rex. I had no idea. 
all these weeks. I, oh my God, I just, I trusted him and who knows if anything he said was true. What? I just don't know what I'm doing here. I have somebody back in Landview who really cares about me. Listen, I better go. Vimal and Nila will be waiting for me, okay? I think Nila's with Shane. With Shane? What's she doing with Shane? Uh, they're friends, I think, you know? I'm sure they know each other from school. Yeah, but I hope he's not looking for something more because she's head over heels in love with Jack Manning. Yeah, you need to watch that. What do you mean? Jack Manning is a handful. He's rich and entitled. Oh, rich is good. Sometimes. But you know the rumor is he's responsible for Gigi Marasco's death. Yeah, but they've dropped all charges and arrested someone else. Uh-huh. Unless there's something you're not telling me. Please, Neil, it's Christmas Eve. All I want to do is tell my dad that I finally got Jack to admit what he did. Please tell me you got something. Please. I gotta get some good news for my dad, or what am I gonna do? No, don't say that. It'll be okay. No, it won't. Don't you get it? The longer it takes, the worse it gets. I need something, anything. I don't... Hey. Okay, what? He confessed? Yes. He did. Jack, I know it's Christmas, and I know that Victor's not here. And that's got to be hard for you. It's not your problem. I'm really sorry that the two of you can't be together, Jack. I'm really sorry. Why? It's not like it's your fault. Look, I'm sorry. I know I blamed you at first. But I guess I've finally accepted the truth. I know you didn't do it. What do you mean? He's not my father. Okay, sit down, sit down. Listen to me. Parenthood does not come down to just biology. Victor loved you very much. I know, I know. Okay. And I loved him. But I don't want to feel like I'm being disloyal to Victor or to you if I want to get to know Todd. He is my biological father. And you know, he's trying and I just you know I want to try too is that so horrible well um no uh, no it's not and if, if if I may speak and mom's too brave to admit it but she's she might be a little sensitive right now with the baby coming yeah <laughs> get it don't say it okay Merry Christmas. I can't believe they just dragged him off like that, like like a criminal. Stacy, he's a murderer. And you should consider yourself lucky. I could have turned you in too. Me? Why? Uh, well, according to Kim, uh, your plan was to take Gigi's place on our wedding day. For all I know, you would have killed her if Jack hadn't gotten there first. Rex, I know that I've lost my memory, but that's not who I am. I'm not a killer. I don't care how much everyone says I wanted you. I would never hurt anyone, especially not my own sister. Okay, so, so what was the plan, Stacy? You were just gonna uh, show up in Landview one day and say, hey, Gigi, guess what? Uh, I'm not dead. Oh, and I got plastic surgery so that I could look like you. Uh, would you mind stepping aside so that I can have your life? I don't know what the plan was because I can't remember. And trust me, I would give anything to go back in time just to see what really happened that night. Well, uh, perhaps you can. 